Hey everybody, it's Blade Show time again. We're here in Atlanta at Blade Show 2022. We've got a ton of new stuff to show. We've got prototypes, we've got new models that are going to be released throughout the last half of the year. You're going to be able to check all that out in this video. Um, we're excited to see our fans. We're excited to take part in this pinnacle of the uh, knife industry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, getting a look inside the Blade Show. We'll see you in the next one in Salt Lake City. This year has been like a really incredible experience. We've seen so many friends here, been able to interact with our fans, get a lot of great customer feedback. Last night at the Blade Show Awards, we took the Best Buy of the Year award. That was for one of our sound cut models. Picked up the award for the most innovative import knife of the year. It's really exciting to get those awards and get some, uh, some validation for the hard work from our team and, and uh, manufacturing. Now that I've got you back to the Wii studio where it's nice and quiet, I'm going to go ahead and take some time to go over in uh, brief detail all of the brand new products that will be released throughout the rest of the year. So I've got prototypes, I've got some production versions, and then I've got some, some items that are actually going to be released in this coming month. So uh, jump in with me, let's take a close look at all of this brand new stuff that's coming out the rest of the year. First up, we have the Vision R. Now, I know this has been a highly anticipated item. Um, this was a huge hit at the Blade Show uh, that I actually just got back from. I know you're watching this in our Blade Show uh, review video, uh, but um, we had several production versions of this knife available at the show, and they all sold immediately on the first day of the show. Um, we showed this knife briefly uh, during the SHOT Show. Um, this knife is getting uh, closer to uh, being uh, available for release. Um, I don't have an exact release date on it yet, but it will be within the next couple of months here. For those of you who aren't familiar with this design yet, it's a 20 CV blade still with a titanium handle and it's got Snex's super lock on the back, um, which is a really cool and unique mechanism. Similar to a couple other manufacturers out there, um, there are some that, that are similar, but uh, this thing is flawless. Um, beautiful milling in the handle, um, giving it a nice lightweight design. So a um, beautiful production version of the Snex Custom. Uh, again, this is called the Vision R, and this will be available in the next couple of months. Next up, and we have a lot to go through on this table, so I'm gonna kind of blow through this stuff uh, pretty quick here. Uh, the first one, um, which uh, kind of ended up being the elephant in the room at the Blade Show, is called the Bulwark. This is a brand new uh, liner lock, nested liner lock with an integrated combination lock in the handle. So this is something that's never been done before, something that our engineers and designers had a really fun time with. Um, this lock right here has the ability to be uh, locked in the closed position. So like this other version that I have right here, this is locked and the blade cannot be opened until that combination is rolled into those tumblers in the back. Then you can open up your blade again. So, with that added feature, that gives you the ability to lock up your knife. Uh, maybe you don't want your kids to get to it. Maybe it's going to be in a bag, um, rolling around where you don't want it to uh, open up. Maybe you just want to hand it to a buddy and uh, watch their face as they try to open your knife. Um, all kinds of different uses that we can think of. Um, and again, um, just kind of thinking outside of the box and doing something that's never been done before. Um, outside of the, the combination lock, um, we've got a full titanium frame. Um, like I mentioned, it's got a nested titanium liner um, for your lock, and there's no pocket clip on this, which makes it extremely smooth and comfortable. Um, this knife has a fantastic snappy action with that thumb stud. 
um, and it is just super, super sleek and clean um, overall. So it makes it feel really good in the hand. A 20 CV blade steel, and um, again, a fun, unique design. Um, our collectors are definitely into this one. Uh, we had several people trying to buy our prototypes off of the show floor as something uh, new to add to their collection, but uh, this is something new and fun from Wii Knife. Something else that's really cool that uh, was a huge hit at the show, this is called the Wii Typhus. This is a push dagger that with a simple uh, flick of the fingers can transfer into a standard uh, or traditional style pocket knife. Okay, This will come with a sheath and we don't have the sheath uh, available to show yet um, because it is pro an early prototype, but um, I believe that this will be sheathed in the push dagger position and then when you pull that out, you can pop it open and use it as a regular pocket knife if you need it, which I really like because um, I don't like to carry too many things on me. Um, and if I were carrying a defensive blade, then I really like the option to have that as a pocket knife that I can use as well. Now, one of the comments uh, that we um, heard over and over at the show was, will it have a locking mechanism? Now that's to be determined as again, this is an early prototype, but um, as I play with it and the more time that I spend with it, um, the more I really like it, actually as it is with no lock. So I don't know if it's gonna have a lock or if it's not gonna have a lock at this point. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think, but uh, when you get this in your hand um, and you and you kind of hold it and grip it as you would in the, the two different positions, this isn't gonna go anywhere um, in the hand when it's in the push dagger position without a lock. Um, it doesn't make a difference. And when it's in the uh, pocket knife position, um, you're not going to want to use this for heavy working tasks without a lock, but for general everyday purposes, I think you can get away with it just fine. And because the way that it folds, um, you, the risk of it folding up on your fingers is very, very small. So um, my vote is keep it as is, but let us know what you think in the comments. And then uh, when you get a chance to play with this in your hands, uh, you can it'll give you another chance to decide. Okay, that is the Wii Typhus. That is a full titanium frame and a 20 CV blade steel. Um, it, will, it will likely be available in black and gray, but again, that is all subject to change. All right, moving on to something that's a little bit closer to production. We have the Soothsayer. I only have one version of this left after the show, um, which was my favorite, which is why I hung on to this one right here. This is a carbon fiber um, handle with copper uh, swirls in it. It's, it's extremely beautiful. I mean, you're going to love this on the close-up shots. And this is called the Soothsayer. It's a 20 CV blade steel. It's a bolster lock. Um, and a titanium clip and a uh, we, we call this um, it, it's kind of a modified um, sheep's foot blade um, I believe uh, Jared with knees knives called it a drop foot which I, I thought was pretty cool that's a good term for this blade shape um, but uh, this this knife right here is a an incredible design it's gonna be available in a standard carbon fiber as well I think in a couple of different versions but um, the soothsayer um, one of my one of my favorites, one of my highlights from the show is is this knife right here. Um, an incredible action. Um, you got a fuller in the blade, so you can middle finger flick it. And uh, man, this uh, this carbon fiber with that copper inlaid in there, it's it's incredibly beautiful. So looking forward for the, this one to hit the market soon. Um, these this is a production version, which usually means that it uh, is coming very very soon. So stay tuned for this one. Next up, we have the Ostop Hill Design Baloo. This is a prototype version. I don't know when this is going to hit, but it's a unique design by Ostop Hell. Uh, 20 CV blade steel, um, carbon fiber overlay on the titanium frame. Um, it is a, a modified frame lock, um, or whatever you want to call that. It does have the, the inlay kind of partially covering the frame right there. It's got a milled pocket clip, um, a beautiful back spacer with some milling, uh, some, some light jimping on that. And then some generous jimping on the blade uh, that goes up pretty far. It's very, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, that was the uh, the common feedback that we got from the show is that it feels really, really good in the hand. Um, and people really like that blade shape with those cutouts. So it is a front flipper design. And you can also deploy the blade using the, the holes in the blade. It's going to be available in a couple of different versions. Uh, right here I've got the... Uh, a, carbon fiber with a gray titanium and then a shredded carbon fiber in the purple anodized titanium. So there's going to be a few different versions of this. Again, this will be coming sometime later this year. 
Next up, I have another production version of a new model. This is called the Starhawk. This is a snappy little guy, just a little handle. Now this one's interesting because it's a it's a compact um, size, right? This knife is, is quite small. Um, you can see that my hand doesn't quite fit on it. Um, I've got a medium to large size hand. But when I close my hand on it, the way that this handle is shaped right here, I feel like I have a full four finger grip on the knife, um, which is, is, is really nice, really comfortable. Got a nice cutout on the top of the, the blade right here where your thumb can sit. Um, really cool blade shape um, with that swedge cut out on the top of the blade right there and the fuller that runs through it. You've got all kinds of, of awesome aesthetics here with the, with the lines. Um, you've got milling on the edges of the titanium frame, um, contrasting hardware that stands off from the, the frame. Um, this version has got the uh, bronze handle with the black blade and uh, milled pocket clip. So it's, it's, a, it's a really pretty, really cool looking small compact knife um, that's actually going to be really usable to, um, to get your working tasks done. So this little guy um, will be available soon. Again, don't have the details on exactly when yet, but it's a titanium and uh, I believe 20 CV blades still. Uh, yes, it is. Um, the Starhawk coming soon. All right, that's what we've got so far for the Wii brand. Now let's hit a few new models for Civivi. Uh, first up, we've got a couple of new Ostapel designs. So he's got three new models coming out with us soon. Um, first up, we have the Kiwi Plus. Now, you'll remember that we released the Kiwi last year, which was a small uh, little guy about, about this size, about an inch um, and a quarter in total length. Uh, that was a double detent slip joint. Now, we've got a larger version in the Kiwi Plus. It's a front flipper design um, using that same Kiridashi style blade, um, but a little bit longer. Okay, this is a liner lock, so this is a locking knife. Um, it uses that same style clip, um, which I th thought was really unique and really cool on the Kiwi, that is uh, slightly recessed into the handle and um, uses the, uh, the two screws on there. So it is not reversible. This clip will not reverse to the other side. Um, but he's got a really cool design on this one with a layered carbon fiber over G10, where you can see that that... Uh, kind of fades into the G10. I think that's really cool. And there's going to be a couple different versions of this that will be coming out as well in color uh, color combinations. If you're a fan of the Kiwi, you're going to be a huge fan of the Kiwi Plus. Um, carries very, very well, nice and lightweight. The Kiwi is a Nitro V blade still. And uh, again, it'll be coming out later this year. So the next design from Ostop Hill um, got a lot of attention at the show. Um, I really, really like this knife. It's called the Clavi. And it's just a little tiny knife with a really snappy little Warncliffe blade. Um, this little guy is a 14C28N blade still um, with G10 handles and a reversible pocket clip. This one, this one is recessed and it will go on uh, uh, either side. Uh, just a really small knife, super lightweight. Um, this one would be super easy to carry um, in, a, in a pen pocket, in a suit coat, um, or just uh, very minimal in your, in your pocket. But uh, really nice little blade, really pokey. Um, this thing is really fun to play with, and uh, that that little lightweight blade just really snaps out um, quickly. So this is a fun one. Um, again, got a lot of attention at the show. This is the Civivi Clavi from Osop Hill. All right, next up, we have another production custom. Custom production. This is our first collaboration with Tough Designs, or Tough Knives. This is a prototype version. This is called the Catalyst 2. Now, you can buy a... Uh, pro a uh, custom catalyst knife for around $1,500. Um, this little guy is going to be a typical Civivi price point. So um, I don't have a price on it yet, but uh, somewhere in that, uh, maybe in that $70 price range. Um, this is a uh, Nitro V blade steel. I'm, I'm double checking it as I, as I say it. Yes, it is a Nitro V blade steel. Um, it's got a nice um, usable blade style and a very very functional handle. Overall this knife is, is made to be used and you can tell. Um, it got kind of a modified clip point drop point style blade there. You can definitely get full uh, four full fingers on this. Um, we call this at the show the uh, the full size compact knife um, because it, it looks and, and like it's going to be a smaller knife but when you get your hand on there you can tell that it really fits well. 
So I'm really excited about this. It'll be available in several different uh, versions as well and color combinations coming out later this year. The last one we've got is another new collaboration. This is with Kayla Cummings. This is called the P87. One of the things that I like about um, collaborating with new designers and new people like Kayla is that we get a, it gives us a good variety of product in our, in our product line. So this is a small little knife. Um, generally speaking, it's going to be used for, uh, better used for smaller hands, uh, which is, I'm sure, uh, intentional design by Kayla. We've got a nice reverse Tonto blade on there. This looks really, really nice. I really love the looks of this knife. Um, and I like anything with a thumb stud, honestly. But um, we've got our skeletonized stainless steel liners. We've got our deep carry pocket clip. And uh, just a nice little um, user knife from Kayla Cummings. So excited about this little guy. Um, again, it should be available later this year. It is uh, not, um, this is a pro prototype version, so it's not a production, meaning it will be a little bit later. And this is a D2 blade steel, and it's gonna have a map price right around $57, um, kind of in that price range. So um, again, something new and something unique from Kayla Cummings. We're excited about that one. Next up, I have a few models that were at the show um, as prototypes, but they're actually going to be available within the next 30 days. So um, I'm gonna show you, we have the Citos from Civivi. We have the Thug 2 from Civivi. We have the Button Lock Malice, or the uh, Mini Malice uh, is the official name from Wii. We have the Wii Shudan. And we have the Wii Synergy 2 V2. And all of these knives are being uh, released um, sometime between now and the end of July. And these will be available in separate videos up on the Wii and Civivi YouTube channels right now. So go ahead and take a look at those um, when you get a chance and make sure that you get in on the release of these brand new models that are available now. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you jump into the comments and let us know which are your favorite models, what you're most excited about coming out this year, and uh, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of our new product announcements and videos. Um, thanks again and have a great day.